This shit made me happy. I don't even want to listen to any more music. It's like we found the best music out there. You know what I mean? We, we won. We won the game of music. Like, what's the point anymore, you know? What's the point of even trying to find more music? But goddamn, we got a big-ass request here. Hold on a second. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another album. This is the second album request on the queue. Uh, yeah, so this one is sent in by Hexobyte. Uh, let me just check the queue length to see if I got to update it. Raccoon with a Bev, thank you. Love the name, very funny. I imagine Bev means beverage, you know. Yeah, no, it's still two hours. Okay. Uh, so we have a Google Doc to go along with this one. Exobyte says, please record just in case. I am indeed recording. All right, we have hit the record button. Okay. So here it is, Noisy as Magnum Opus says, uh, Hexobite for this new, or not really new project, I don't know when it came out, but we're going to find out, Noisy as Magnum, Magnum Opus, the highest rated Neurofunk in halftime record of all time, an album which would skyrocket Neurofunk in halftime to their peak of popularity in the EDM circuit, this is Outer Edges. Uh, I'll rip off the Band-Aid right now. This album is a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't expect it to be a 10 for anyone in chat. I gave this album this rating after much thought and deliberation. It's seamless in its production, which uh, is at a level not really seen prior to this project. The pacing, the experimentation, which doesn't stray too far away from the fundamentals of genres uh, Noisia pulls from. Uh, the fact that they truly found their own voice with this project. The beautiful simplicity of every song here as well. That's, that's a key word grabbing my ear right now. Beautiful simplicity. Uh, this is truly a feat, one of the most remarkable electronic records of the 2010s. Thank you so much, Tobu. Uh, and if I'm being honest, this is the best EDM LP of the 2010s, though that is a very cl uh, close two-way tie for me. Maybe one day I'll send in that album. If everything else from this era of Neurofunk and Halftime fades into obscurity someday, I believe this record will be one that people continue to talk about. All right. With that being said, Outer Edges. Noisia. So I'm excited for this. I feel like I've been prepared uh, to check this out as I've listened to now a, a decent amount of stuff from Noisia going into this project. Um, yeah, and, and I've enjoyed a good handful of it. There's been some stuff that I feel like hasn't really uh, struck me as like remarkable, but it's still like sa been satisfying. What I'm hoping for is that if this is what you explain it to be, this is going to be basically the remarkable next level experience that you are promising that it is now. Oh my god, Sludge Buzz sends an album too. Oh my god. Thank you very much. I'm going to change the queue link to an, uh, three hours. It's over. I'm going to be honest though, this, this Ginger Root song is so good. I'm going to throw it on the stream playlist. It's one of those that like, you know, it sets a vibe. You know what I mean? Anyways, anyways. Outer Edges. Trying to find the, uh, where is it? Back in 15. Yeah, here we go. Okay, album time is up. First song, The Approach. Immediately reminds me of Autekker, honestly. Yeah, Funky Blood too. Fasten your seatbelts. Seatbelts, everyone! Oh my god, and another album. Oh my god. Metro don't trust me. Metal stream so far. I mean, yeah, it started off with some bullshit, but zombies have been fun. Um, honestly, it reminds me of an Autekker song, which to me, I like Autekker. I find the, uh, like, I don't know, the style of Autekker and what they do to be uh, oddly engaging, and this kind of combines that with 
a bit more of a catchy sound that you'd come to expect, I guess, from Noisia. So, overall, not bad. Give it a smiley ball. Decent start. Next song, Anomaly. Just give me typing away. I'm uh, I'm typing notes. Hexo. Just letting you know. Six hundred second limit. If you send in more than the limit, uh, I'll play the whole thing. I just I don't know why I have the limit. I think it's to scare people. Like I'm not gonna turn down or end the request early if you send in more money. Bonfire. What's up, Corgi? I think the fact that this is such a straightforward song from Noisia uh, as the second song on the album, honest to me, honest, honestly, to me, feels like set up for something more as it actually does just kind of feel like a warm up track. Uh, immediately with that first song and this, I feel like it's uh, basically setting a pace that I'm like, that, that makes me curious to see how the rest of the album goes just in terms of how the sound is going to evolve. So I like this song. I think it's good. Um, and it's got me curious to see where it goes from here. Collider is the name of the next song. Why well, didn't do rap to the beat? Because I'm listening to the music. And giving giving it thought.
Dude. Got a little Daft Punk in there. Now but made by someone in the stream? No. This is uh, by a very well-known EDM guy. 1.2 million monthly listeners. Spit a verse? Fine. Ah, uh, I've been a. Uh, I've been a. Uh, I've been a. Uh, there you go. I'm done. Noisia are watching me? No, they're not. I refuse to believe that. I enjoy the song, but I also feel like it fits the album and the pacing of this project so far really well. Uh, just kind of adding another layer to the enjoyment of it. Overall, I thought that was great. I thought it was a lot of fun. It had me moving, had me grooving. It's a smiley ball for me. So far, I feel like I'm very invested in this project, which is a nice feeling to have. As this project is... It, it's got a lot of music on it. And the quicker I get into it, the better, basically. Uh, next song, Vigilantes. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tension is definitely rising. Yeah.
Okay, I'm gonna let it, let it play out. I enjoyed that one. Tentacles, all right, so I'll start by saying Vigilantes I like quite a bit. I thought it sounded nice. It was very filled out uh, and had a strong intensity to it. It's a smiley ball. Tentacles for me, I feel like really goes against the rest of the vibe of this project as it really seemed like it was escalating, taking itself very seriously with these last handful of tracks. And it's kind of just taking a piss on that with this song. Um, to the point of where this idea of tentacles and whatnot, it just, it doesn't work all that well, especially since it's introducing the sound in a really interesting way. And it's just a sample of the word tentacles over and over again that I think, again, is just hard to really care for. It, in a way, it just feels really cheesy. Uh, for me, it's the first miss of this project. Uh, been enjoying it up to this point, and I'm hoping it kind of picks up, but I'm not really a fan of that one really at all. Um, next song, Voodoo. Okay. Yeah. This is not uh, request cost. 
tracks all depend on the album. Boss Man Jack, I have not, I don't know that. Back in my day, it was five dollars a minute. said about imagining a room full of people like just playing the hype it would generate um i kind of completely understand that i think this is a rebound for me um i like the production on this one a ton uh, i think the sound is very filled out and again it's kind of helping me just sort of get back into the vibe of this project that i enjoyed as i, I like when th like the question of is everything supposed to connect exists you know um, I feel like that helps me mentally keep things together, group things, and uh, just overall enjoy a project more. So for me, yeah, this was uh, this was nice. It's a smiley ball. Next song, Mantra. Oh, oh, it's kind of like a wet cave in a video game. Yeah. Thank you. 
Hexo. While I am struggling a little bit with the slight inconsistency of this project, I feel like with Mantra, it is the easiest to get absolutely sucked into. It starts off and it has this little sound, this, this little texture that I feel like it just really stings. It really pulls you in. And what I absolutely love about this track is it decides to take that and run with it the whole song. It finds gold and it plays into it with the beat. And it's, and it's a song that honestly feels longer than it actually is. I thought that was amazing. Strong Smiley Ball. Easily the song I got the most sucked into, the one that got me the most excited throughout this project, and I'm hoping that it continues at this quality for the rest of this because this one really did it for me. This one really grabbed my ear, took me under, put me in a spell. Fantastic track. Next song, Surface... Surfaceless. point. Kind of feels like a somewhat unremarkable follow-up, as it definitely seemed like it was doing something pretty cool throughout it, um, but genuinely doesn't really go anywhere with it. So for me, it's kind of a shrug, um, sort of lost potential, as I do actually feel like a cooldown point uh, can move into, in itself, a song that, you know, works. I don't think it just needs to be a, all right, the listener needs a break, Let's give them a break when they could just take a break on their own if they really needed it that badly. Next song, Straight Hook. Okay. Oh, atmosphere. Hey. 
face. Spooky. I'll be back. This one feels, I mean, yeah, like, I respect Simple, it has some bump to it, but it's kind of unremarkable after a song like, you know, Mantra, is it just kind of feels like it's going back to what it knows best and just sort of playing into, playing into something, again, that's just very, eh, I kind of feeling a struggle on that one. Yeah, it's that's kind of the thing is it's just not that exciting for me like at all. That's just kind of how I'd say it. It's it's just not very exciting. Uh, Stonewalled. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I was thinking the same thing. This synth is too farty. Like, just straight up. That That's principle number one. Don't make your music remind me of farts. That's it. That's, that's basically the only principle. Uh, and this one, I feel like, fails at that, unfortunately. <laughs> Play that back. 
bootleg type beat. About to blow the outhouse up with this one. I see Hexa. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like I said earlier, breaks the one fundamental. Don't sound like a fart. And the entire song is that. And unfortunately, I am just unable to look past that. For that reason, even though it does a lot of cool stuff, it's a red headphones. Dog. It hurts. It, it really does. It hurts. But I never broke out of that. As it continued, I just kept hearing it in various degrees. So unfortunately, that one <laughs> is a bit of a miss. Um... Next song, Stonewalled. No, that's what we just listened to, Stonewalled. Why did I... Next song, Motion Blur, I mean. Motion Blur. I mean, more songs? It's a pretty long project, but... Yeah, we're on song 11 out of 18. I'm still interested to see where it goes, you know? so good so far usually you see this like way later you got good taste makers today what can I say this one's less farty I, like I'm able to I'm able to like I, I can avoid the fart imagery on this song you know what I mean And their requests get really strange. No, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, there's usually a point where the requests, I wouldn't say they get better, they just get a little bit more obscure. Usually because it's people sending in their own music late at night. behind it that's kind of been something i've thought about throughout this project up to this point as well 
there's atmosphere, but yeah, like compositionally, I feel like it definitely has more of a focus on turning up than, uh, you know, losing you in it. Motion Blur is fine. I, I wouldn't say that I loved it, mostly because it sort of feels like it just exists. It doesn't really elevate the project, in my opinion, but at the same time, I think it's like, okay, you know, the vibe is good. So for me, it is just a shrug, but not bad. The Entangled, next song. React to a full album if you're reacting to their full album. Uh, I'm reacting to their full album because they paid like 700 Canadian dollars. Even though the song, I feel like, does have some nice sounds going for it, you know, I kind of understand the argument of a lack of emotion with this one in specific, uh, as I just felt really very little through that, even with the sound and design being nice. Hexo says it's one of the more memorable tracks. Honestly, I don't really see it with this one. I thought it was just okay. I I'd give it a shrug. One of the things that I was loving with the start of this project is... I was very excited to see what happened next with the diversity of sounds and styles, and I just feel like I haven't really been very impressed since. Um, not to say what I've been hearing is bad, I just haven't been as excited. And that does kind of feel a little bit bad. Um, next song we have is Ex uh, Excavolt.
Hey, thank you, Torrance. Good to see you. I wish you weren't going through entire albums. It's not as fun. I like doing it. I, I find it fun. It's like giant full experiences, you know? Eight minutes. I've only got six songs left. If you're, you know, really that upset by it. Another one that I enjoyed, yet I'm struggling to, again, get the bigger picture here. Uh, had fun with it. It's a light, smiley ball. I do think that it's a slight improvement, but at the same time, uh, it is getting a little tiring. And I'm, again, that, that sort of optimism and excitement uh, for continuing and seeing what happens next uh, just isn't as strong as when I first started. Exobyte says another 10. Uh, almost feels like it's taken a rhythm inspired approach at points. The bass hits feel so full and realized. Again, the fact that Hexa loves this so much, it, it definitely inspires me to give it as much of a shot as possible. So I do appreciate that. And I do appreciate the feedback on each of these songs, Hexo, as I feel like it helps sort of helps me navigate my experience as well. Um, next song, Into Dust. Doesn't have uh, a lot of follow through track to track. It's an interesting way of putting it follow through is your personal favorite on the album from good electronics like fairly local by 21 pilots Thank you. 
Grand Casino. Yeah, I feel like the atmosphere of this song was really picking up and I was excited and I was hoping that, you know, it, listen, it is going to have a drop. I mean, at this point, it's just kind of part of the experience. Um, but I was hoping it would complement it in the same way that it did with Mantra, but I just don't feel like it did. I, I feel like the drop here kind of did what I kind of expected Mantra to do and, and it didn't and it surprised me, which is what this song sort of did was uh, play away from its strengths a little bit. Um, and as a result, kind of lost my interest. Uh, I do like this song overall, but um, definitely felt like it could have been even even better. So light smiley ball. I don't think you're supposed to listen to a DNB album in the same way that you listen to other styles of music. I mean, I'm not listening to this thinking I'm gonna listen to this the same way as everything else, you know? I'm just trying to get the experience out of it the best best I can, you know? Miniatures. Okay. Hey, we get funky as a monkey. I'm like a junkie. Got a lot of money. I'm feeling kind of crazy. Got a lot of hoes. Got a lot of babies. Got a lot of bitches riding around in my Mercedes. Uh, I don't give a damn because these bitches try to play me. Uh, told them they was lazy. Uh, I didn't have my baby. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm in my gun and show my fucking son. Hey. Yeah. Run, hey. Look at the barrel and you better run, hey. Yeah. Give it damn Windshield wiper type beat. Five beats to study to. Certainly was not on my uh, bingo card for this album. Hey yo.
streaming early? Yeah. I started only like three hours early though. Picking up on some fly low. Flying Lotus. Call it Flying Lotus. I said that is bogus. Uh, I got a lot of money in my Mercedes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a lot of paper. Yeah. I got a lot of paper vapor. Yeah. Can you scroll down? Are right, you trying to look at the track list? We got three songs left. Basically, just lo-fi beats to study to. I just don't really care about this one all that much. Uh, it's a shrug for me. It's kind of fun, but then at the same time, I'm just like... I, I become pretty quickly unimpressed <laughs> when I realize it is just kind of a lo-fi beat. I, I definitely a switch-up that I think is very much needed, but maybe just not the style I was hoping it would be. Uh, next song, Sinkhole. Exclamation point Q8 now exists. Prowler, yeah. Esoteric. It's a big word I just used. Baggy, 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 baggy jeans. Yeah, baggy, 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 baggy jeans. Baggy, 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 baggy. God. Exactly is taking place. I'm not sure that anybody literally sinking. Knows. All of a sudden, the ground itself becomes weak, and you've got sinking taking place. People have been evacuated from the area. Down here, things start shifting. Things start moving. Wow. There was no floor, no ground, no nothing. Everything was gone. So intense. The sinkhole was more than 20 feet deep and completely empty. No bed, no body, just dirt. And everything was still sinking. This feels like a dubstep beat to basically make the most boring documentary of all time sound interesting. I don't get this. I, I don't get this at all. I, I don't really like this one. Too sober for this song. Yeah, that song. I 
give it like a four out of ten. I thought that the again the sample was just so tacky. I mean the whole sinkhole thing. I. The entire time I'm thinking, it's a sinkhole that sinks. I'm like, yeah, okay, so everyone's got to, what, evacuate because the sinkhole is going to sink? It's a sinkhole. It sinks. It's able to sink as a sinkhole. Like, bruh. That was, like, the least intense. Like, I've never been less terrified of hearing about a potential natural, natural disaster. Um, yeah, and I also didn't feel like the full experience came together. It, it just didn't have really much of a beginning or ending. 11 out of 10, the atmosphere genuinely is one of a kind with this track. Sound design that I've yet to see quite match with any other song in this style. The track really feels like it swallows you up. Yeah, I just wish that everything else uh, made me care about the song more. Uh, next song, Get Deaded. Get Deaded? is a relatively decent structure and a bit more of a complete feeling as opposed to some other songs that I feel like have been similar or doing something similar with this. Uh, in my opinion, this is all right. Um, I give it a light smiley ball. I, I do feel like a lot of the punch here, though, again, maybe it is just the fact that there's a lack of a connection for me personally with what's going on uh, at this sort of point in my experience. But 
uh, even when it's at its most aggressive and grimy, I, I just am not really fully buying into everything. Uh, and as a result, I can enjoy the song, but also feel like I don't really know if I'm going to be returning to it. Um, final song, I believe. The Approach, Reprise. We've got a little bit of a outro reading. Melanie Martinez, oh, how I started watching her videos on her albums last night, and she's such a creep. Right, we've got Tim Hecker outro. I think Mantra would still be good after going through the second half. Yeah, I do. What in the jungle book am I listening to? Big Bella B music on the way? Not currently. We need jungle, I'm afraid. Yeah. We need jungle, I'm afraid. Kind of an unremarkable outro as well as shows a little bit of promise but again the previous song to this doesn't serve well as a second to last track and i just don't feel like this is much of an outro in my opinion so while i am glad that hexel loves this project and they get a lot out of it i do understand where they're coming from um unlike i feel like the other project that was sent in that hexo said was like a 10 out of 10 that honestly really clicked for me was super engaging all the way through was exciting fun and uh, just sort of thrilling. I feel like with this project, the lack of focus uh, kind of got to me. And at some point, I just fell off the roller coaster. Um, if I had to give this project a score, it would probably be a 6-. minus. Um, there are many moments where I am falling into it and enjoying it. But outside of a lot of production flexing, I just didn't think there was a lot of meat on the bone. I ended up writing a whole little review uh, as well with my uh, score on album of the year but uh yeah overall i i just kind of had higher expectations with this that i feel like i ended up being disappointed maybe because i had such high expectations i mean they're not the same kind of 10 out of 10 projects so to me that's fair yeah i mean they are very different in terms of what they're going for for sure um but the same principle applies where i feel like i need to be 100 percent brought into the experience throughout it and if i'm not then it's just kind of going to be overall naturally disappointing you like the punk album more than this i did i did like the punk album more than that um yeah i i thought the punk album was uh very clear quick i mean if the punk album was like an hour long of that then yeah it would probably be so annoying by the end of it but you know you just kind of have to have a strong understanding of what you're making in my opinion it was pretty fun from what i heard two out of ten who gave you a license to review things you nunez jesus christ all right Outer Edges represents Noisy at their creative peak, fully matured and focused as a group. The next few years would see them putting out more collabs and originals, but this trajectory would not last as creative differences were slowly growing between the members. Next time, we'll take a look at their work in the latter half of the decade, wrap, uh, wrapping up with their final album, uh, Closer. Okay. So we have that to look forward to uh, for the next chapter of listening to Noisia's releases. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I almost said it was break time. We're, we're never on break, okay? That's for the weak, okay? Only the weak take breaks. My mouth still hurts from drinking scalding hot coffee. Let's see if it's any better now. Okay, it's drinkable. Okay. I'm feeling a zero on that album. A, a big fat goose egg. Actually, I'm going to grab some water, so I guess we'll take a short little break. <laughs> 